It's been, you know, a interesting preseason, different for us because we have had a lot of turnover on the roster, just with graduation and um, education opportunities and, and guys starting their own businesses and, and all types of crazy things that Babson students do here. Um, you know, the weather's thrown a little wrench in the operation too at times. We've been stuck inside. Um, luckily, we have this amazing facility. Our, um, our grounds people have done a good job of clearing the snow as much as they can when they can. So it, it's been good. It could have been better, but it, it, it's been good. Um, we're lucky today. It's 50 degrees and, and nice out, so we're going to take advantage of it. Um, but it's, it's been a process, you know, getting new guys in the mix. Um, the talent is there, but uh, they haven't played college across yet, a lot of the guys. Um, and some of the returners haven't had a ton of playing time um, in their career year yet. So uh, it's new pieces, a new look. Uh, we, we did graduate some guys who were pretty influential, pretty kind of, you know, four-year starters and, and whatnot. So just finding our identity a little bit has been a process, and I think it'll, it'll be a process. Um, but our goal is to win come April and May, and uh, the games we have in February and March are going to kind of push us along in that process. We've been inside and outside a lot. Kind of the weather's kept us inside, um, but we've done our best to get out here as much as possible. Um, we have a decent amount of turnover from last year, both with some guys leaving a little early. Um, we have 15 or 16 freshmen out of our 37 rostered players, so we're trying to get a lot of guys acclimated. But um, we have a good mix of the young guys and a lot of veteran guys coming back. So um, we've been doing a really good job of becoming cohesive and getting ready for Skidmore on Saturday. The work ethic has, has been phenomenal. The guys come out here, um, we ask them to go hard for two hours, and, and they're going hard for two hours. Um, but really, it started months ago. You know, the guys. When we lost the Pilgrim League Championship last year, there were guys in the locker room who were pretty upset. And they went to work. They went home and hired personal trainers. They went out and, and took our weight training program and, and pushed themselves. So when they came back, they were bigger, they were stronger, um, and there's a hunger to them. So that's been going on, and, and it's not just one or two. It, it's the vast majority of these guys um, who were here last year have a bad taste in their mouth, and, and they're pushing the young guys to play catch up. Like, hey, we're, we're going somewhere. You guys better come with us or, or get out of here. Um, so that attitude, I think, is, is different. It, it's, we've been building toward it over the last couple of years, but um, I think it, it's at a high point right now. Um, so that's made you know, my job a little more fun. You know, he's still their kids. you got to get on in their case every now and again, but um, they've been really motivating themselves a lot, which is uh, you know, what you want out of a program. Short term, um, we start off with seven of our toughest games of the season. Um, all out of conference, but we get the chance to play a couple NCAA tournament teams, um, some teams that we've played in the past that have been really good games, both wins and losses, and then the chance to go out to Colorado in about a month to play at Colorado College. So the early season is really a good test for us, and ultimately um, our goal is again to get back to the now NUMAC final. It used to be Pilgrim League, but now we're in the NUMAC, um, and hopefully this year is our chance to win it. Playing with Springfield last year, you know, being in that game where, where the year before we hadn't been all that close in the games, um, it means a lot, you know, it, it's a sign that, that we're on the right track, um, but it also shows us we have a ways to go. And um, I think part of that too is our season, our schedule we're playing. You know, we're trying to get the best teams on our schedule that we can play. So when we do face the Springfield, they're not the best team we're going to see. Um, you know, we've been in battles before. I mean, we're not scheduling a bunch of cupcakes, you know, to feel good about ourselves. We're trying to get the best teams on the schedule that we can. And, you know, some years we get better teams than others. It's, you, know, you don't get to pick your schedule exactly how you want it, but uh, I think it's gotten better over the years and it's continuing to get better. And um, We're recruiting kids who want to play against the best competition, um, and usually those are the better players out there. So uh, I think the, the game plan is working. You know, let's play the best teams out there. That'll make us better. It'll help us attract better guys. And then when we get into battles, we're not shocked by it. You know, we, we know, hey, they're pretty good, we're pretty good. Let's, let's go settle this on the field. Springfield's kind of been the mainstay of the conference for I think I think they've won the last six or seven Pilgrim League championships. Um, so everyone knows they're kind of the top dog. Um, going to that regular season game we played them last year, we had a big lead at halftime, kind of fell apart and lost, and then we ended up losing in the final. But we, you know, we've over the years come to recognize that we really can play with them, and we have a kind of a veteran senior class this year who's been through the ups and downs of the Springfield game and through the conference. And so I think we know that we have a chance to really play with them this year. We want to be better tomorrow than we are today. Um, you know, that, that's our number one first primary goal. And if we do that every day, end of the year, we're pretty darn good. Um, you know, that's, I guess, a kind of vague and 
more philosophical uh, answer, but um, that's the first goal. The second goal then is to win the new Mac. Um, I think anything less than that, we're going to be disappointed. We'll, these are guys who want to go to the NCAA tournament, and that's the way we get there is win the new Mac. Um, you know, it's our first year in the new Mac. We want to be the, the first team to win it. Um, and then once we get into the tournament, obviously our goals will, will expand from there. We, you know, hopefully we'll win games and, and all that. But um, right now, be better tomorrow than we are today. Come April, win the new Mac. And then hopefully come May, there, there'll be something else to, to look forward to. I think it's, it's a cohesive effort. We, you know, we have four senior captains, but we have three other seniors um, who have done a really good job of being vocal and just good uh, lead by example guys. And also that, you know, it trickles all the way down. We have juniors and even sophomores that are doing a good job of taking uh, our 15 or 16 freshmen under their wings and trying to really show them the ropes. And I think it's been really good so far. We're really a cohesive unit. And I think that'll show on the field come Saturday.